Hi guys, I'm back again. I hope that everyone is great. Uh, today I'm going to make a video which I'm going to talk about a new fragrance that I acquired. And I want to share with you my thoughts about it and also a small review of it. But before that, I'm going to give you a small idea about the house itself. Well, uh, the house was established in uh, Oman, uh, actually over 30 years ago, by the royal family. When we say Oman, we think about many things. As you know, how many people were known from the back, from the first uh, ages, uh, by uh, uh, their skills. They were uh, Martin traders. And uh, when we say Oman, we talk about uh, Olibanum, which we can find only in Oman. Across the world, you cannot find Olibanum, just that piece of earth. So, this house, as you know, has a project, which is the establishment, the revival of the perfumery, the Arabic uh, kind of perfumery, and make it known across the world. So, that being said, the bottle, as you can see, is violet with some artistic motifs. And here we can find the royal seal or the crown, the Omani crown, as a sign of. Uh, uh, Appartenance to the royal family. The word amouaj means uh, waves in Arabic. And uh, it is written in Arabic calligraphy here. Well, I'm going to talk about reflection, as you know. Reflection for men. Here's some information. And the batch called on the back. And the bottle itself is amazing. The box is amazing. Everything about this fragrance is amazing. If you see this, you can find a velvet fabric inside the box to protect the bottle. And it has the same color as these motifs here in purple. So, that's with the box. The bottle itself is a piece of art. Here you can find the metallic logo, which is engraved with the Arabic word of Amouaj, also here in Latin. And this is a 100 ml bottle. Here you can find the word reflection in small letters and a sort of jewel which has the same color purple and here also the crown symbol the same things here on the bottom you can find information and the same batch code and the cap is a magnetic cap. See how powerful it is. Don't do this at home. You will waste a wonderful juice and also a big price. <laughs> so, um, what did I miss? Oh, the metallic sides here, which have the same color as the cap. So, who made this greatness? It's the perfumer Luca Suzak. This was made on 2007 by Luca Suzak. Who's Lu Luca Suzak? Luca Suzak is a descendant of a perfumery family. He's the third generation, I think. He was born in Grasse, so this gives you 
just his birthplace will give you a great idea about him. And he made a lot of great sense for many houses. He worked with Giorgio Armani, I think. He worked also with the uh, Chopin, which he made two uh, uh, fragrances for the private collection. I think Noble Cedar and another one. He also worked with Moj itself. He made the uh, Ciel Parfum and Jubilation Parfum. And he also made this one. And he, I think, he worked with uh, Carolina Herrera, which he made the uh, 212 VIP for men. So, talking about this one, a much reflection, and I will give you an idea what, why this was called reflection and not another name. Talking about the notes, and again, both Fragrantica and the uh, bass notes. Uh, the top notes here, we can find the uh, rosemary, we can find the uh, uh, pink pepper, and we can find pity grain. Uh, and uh, after that, in the um, middle notes, we can find oris roots. It's not iris, it's oris, which is the root of our iris. We can find jasmine, we can find the roli, and also, uh, I think, ilang ilang. And uh, in the base, we can find vetiver, uh, cedarwood, uh, patchouli, and sandalwood. So, the family here is a floral, woody, musk family. And the sprayer is amazing. Just look at it. Just like that. And the job is done. What you get when you spray this? And a lot of talks about this one. The first thing here you can find is the that green aspect of the fragrance mixed with that powdery thing which gives you a uh, A feeling of uh, something uh, new, something uh, very clean. <sighs> the burst of rosemary and the pity grain here is noticeable. And also, you get some orange touch, that vibe. You can get it, but it's hidden, it's some it's in the playground, but it's something uh, it's not the main note yet. Wow, this is so great. This is so amazing and perfectly blended. You can uh, smell my god, I mean joy. This is absolutely joyful and uplifting. Lord, this is why lots of people, the greatest reviewers in the world, are always making the House of Amouage in their top five niche fragrances. To me, it's definitely worth the, its price. The notes are natural, the it's, as you know, the House of Amouage is always working with natural ingredients. And they are choosing the ingredients that are in the land of Oman or across the land of Oman, like India, East Africa, uh, Madagascar, that places. And Arabia, of course. This is perfect for them, for a gentleman. And to me, 100% perfect as a signature scent, but not for everyone. Because I've been searching these days about that fragrance, and I heard that most of people is comparing this with the 
uh, I think two fragrances from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, uh, which are uh, uh, Le Mal and uh, uh, Fleur du Mal, I think. Fleur du Mal, not Le Mal. Uh, and also some of people are comparing this one with the Prada Lom. I think that's why this comparison, uh, because the people are uh, getting some floral and uh, green notes, so they make that junction with the uh, with that fragrance from Jean Paul Jean Paul Gaultier, which is uh, uh, as I said. Uh, Fleur du Mal. And also the Oris, which gives that, and the powdery scent, which gives that soapy clean, is uh, what makes them believe that it is uh, similar to Prada Lom. I would say that not. To me, absolutely, this is my own point of view. I don't push anyone to. Change its own their point of view about it, but I think that this one is not compared to both Prada Lom and the uh, Fleur du Mal. This is more well blended. This is more overwhelming, uh, and uh, the scent itself is having lots of different aspects. You can find here gre uh, greeny touch, you can find soapy touch, you can find clean touch and also you will find woody or woodsy aspect. So this is very complicated scent but uh, at the same time very well blended. I would say that if a comparison will be made here, I think about another fragrance which is uh, Infusion d'homme by the house of Prada. It is kind of similar because the soapiness in Infusion d'homme is uh, very, very great compared with the, their other fragrance Prada Lom. And this one is better than both of them. So Sillage. The sillage is very sensible, very great. Uh, this is absolutely uh, a very great, powerful scent. Uh, one spray on my skin. I sprayed it yesterday and it lasts more than eight hours. I'm talking about eight hours. Power mode. The scent didn't fade. And the trail is great. I had two great compliments from my family when they smelled it for the first time. So I think that this should be on your collection. Absolutely. Because it's very, very amazing. And the uh, perfection here will make you uh, think about it times and times again. I think that this is why they called it reflection because I heard that many guys didn't like it the first time, the second time I heard that one of my friends didn't like it and he owns it uh, I think one year ago and he tried it one month he say no it's not my scent. And then he tried to rediscover it. So uh, he changed his mind. And he told me that this is a scent that will make you think about it again and again. I love this one. So I hope that you will love it too. Share with me your thoughts about it and let's start a conversation about it. So, thank you for watching. 
and don't forget to subscribe to share this video and uh, I will uh, wait for your comments so have a great time peace